Nitanam guys, welcoming you back with my love and respects and the blessings of my Guru, His Divine Holiness, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashiva. Pala Puja. So, uh, like I shared in the previous video, or um, Swamji's Jainty is coming, Swamji's birthday is coming at the end of December, and Swamji is opening Pala Puja as usual. I mean, it's always open, um, offering at the lotus feet of the Guru, of the Master, of the Avatar, Bhagwan Shri Nityananda Paramashiva, offering our karmas. That is basically the context of Pada Puja. And this time Pada Puja uh, doesn't have a fixed fee, it is a suggested donation. And uh, so there's a minimum, Swamiji was saying, one cent uh, or one rupee. Because as per the tradition, we have to offer Guru Dakshina to the Master. So because of that, that the basic uh, thing is there. But there is no fixed, uh, uh, other than that, fixed price for that. And Swamiji shared in yesterday's satsang that this is how he always wanted it to be. But for some reason in the past, Sangha has decided otherwise. But now he's happy that it is happening like that. So basically, Pada Puja, you have no obstacles, no reason not to uh, perform it, at least in terms of the, in the money financial dimension. So... Um, what is Pada Puja? So I'll share the cognitions and the clicks I got about Pada Puja. Pada Puja, like I said, is the uh, revering the feet of the master and you offering your karmas actually at the feet of the, the master of the avatar so that he can consume and free us from these karmas. So it's basically a, a puja. It is a, a devotional ritual which is there for you to cherish and to intensify the sacred sentiments inside your inner space, your devotion, your seeking, your prayerfulness, and for your sincere desires to be fulfilled. I mentioned this in previous videos. We have many desires that are floating around in, inner, in our inner space, but some of these desires are not real. It means it is just a fantasy. It's something we want, but it's not something we're actively working towards. Um, but there are some things, some desires that we have that we actually want and we act actually take responsibility towards them and work towards making them happen. So when you do these, especially Pada Puja, the feet of Swamiji, um, you know, it is, a, it is the time for you to cherish the sincere desires that you want to manifest in your life. And when you offer the Pada Puja, the space of Swamiji, which is the space of the Kalpa Vriksha, the Kalpa Taru, the wish-fulfilling space, the space of Paramashiva. Lord Shiva is always depicted as fulfilling the boons of his devotees. And that is exactly the space that is available to us in the uh, Pada Puja when we worship the feet of Swamiji. So everything that we sincerely, truly cherish in our deep in our inner space, if you request that to Swamiji, if you put whatever karmas, whatever incompletion, whatever obstacle are there in your life which are not helping you, allowing you as you perceive, as you feel, not allowing you to manifest what you want, then putting that, offering that at the feet of Swamiji and requesting Swamiji to fulfill that deep desire that you cherish or perhaps deep desires um, that you cherish. So it is the most sacred moment. Uh, Guru is something that is most auspicious in the Sanatana Dharma. And uh, relating to the Guru is the ultimate relationship. And Pada Puja is a reflection of this relationship where we surrender our karmas, like I said, karmas at the feet of the Master, and cherish intense devotion and sacred sentiments towards Swamiji. And uh, so, yeah, so it is an amazing opportunity it should not be missed and it should not be taken casually at the same time uh, because it's easily available it should not be taken casually we need to realize who is Swamiji Swamiji is Paramashiva in the space of Pada Puja he blesses what you ask so ask something you care about really not something that is on top of your to -do, not something that is on top of your daily to-do list the thing that is at the that that is the core of your existence, not like, oh, I want to pass my exams. I mean, I don't know, maybe that is one of your big desires, no judgment here. But what I'm trying to say is that, we, you know, allow the seeking to happen in you and look in and find, like, what do I want in my life? 
not something that is imposed on you beyond your will but you know for instance if I give an example and that's only one example if you have you have to have good marks for examination but you have to look in is is why are you wanting to get good marks is it only to fulfill others expectation not to be afraid of mom and dad and because you're afraid of their reaction you want to fulfill the exam that is not a true desire deep down do you are you cognizing you know education and in, in the way that the society is cognizing it in the way that parents are bringing it forward and you know ask what you want deep down not something superficial just to get rid of some little superficial conflicts that you experience in your day-to-day -day life because Pada Puja is it can change your life it can that 45 minutes of puja can shift your life in just like that it is that powerful it just depends how authentic you are in the process how sincere you are how much devotion seeking prayerfulness you cherish while you engage in the puja in the ritual so yes i will put the links in the description below do not miss it it's available to all there's almost no obstacles other than you, your mind, not wanting to do it. I think that's the only obstacle that could ever come forward. Uh, there's no financial uh, obstacles. There's, I mean, time, I guess perhaps time can be. So, you know, overcome these two things. Drop the mind, drop the, the incompletion with time, and just manifest Pada Puja for yourself from an authentic, sincere space of devotion, seeking, and prayerfulness and allow big breakthroughs to happen in your life and to experience who Swamiji, who Paramashiva truly is. So with this, I'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, again, comment, subscribe, register as an e Sri Kailasavasi if you want to be updated, if you want to be part of the spiritual community of the greatest Hindu nation that Swamiji is reviving. It is free of cost. Link is also in the description below. And uh, like the video, subscribe, share with your friends, click the bell icon, and I'll see you guys shortly. Nidhyanandam.